We don't love. cut off our wife's you know what tower. <laughs> oh, God. I, I actually agree. Why do you have to be this. so hurtful? Yeah, yeah Rich. really, Rich. We're just having a little fun. So here. mean. This is a, this mean really spirited. Happened. No hate speech in this zone. Rich. Yeah, yeah. Mike Birbigley on. on the couch there, Rich. That was I, hate speech. I think last time you guys were in studio together, there was almost a fist fight. <laughs> no, there wasn't. It was me, him, and DePaulo. There was two comics and Mike when we were here last <laughs> oh, time. Hey, oh, Christ. <laughs> hey, li listen, everybody. you got to come to my shows. I know it's at the Seafood Shanty in Albany, yeah. but it's a real comedy show. It's not just a joke. <laughs> okay, seafood let's see. I, let's I see. mean, I mean Jimmy see. Norton's really popular from this show, but I'm not. And if I could just yeah. say a few words about how funny I am. Oh, I wish okay. you'd believe me. 13 for 13 on O&A tours. You're 0 for 1. <laughs> what? 13 for thir I'm 13 for 13. You're keeping on track you're of your performances on the comedy tour? It doesn't matter. It's the only time I've worked with Mike. Yes. Although, again, he did open for me on the Leary benefit, but... Those are the only times I work with Mike. I seen Mike you know work a couple times. Mike, I'm talking. Calm down. <laughs> you're, you're a guest here. I'm a regular. Uh, okay, this isn't Bob and Tom. We don't come in with written material. We do it off our top of our heads. Wow. Uh, 13 for this, 13, 0 for 1. Off the top I'm of in the Hall head. of Fame, and you're back in the minors. All right. Thank you. Good night. Uh, we'll see you at the seafood, Shanny. Rich, but that's uh, it. That's all you got. Well, Keep going. What, you, what were you plugging? What was the name of the venue that you were plugging a few minutes? <laughs> it's a comedy club. He's well, got I'll, you there, Rich. It was a little weird. I'll, What's I'll that? Mention it. Yeah. It's the uh, Dick's Bean Town Comedy Escape. That is, there's no, there's no, there's no escape. <laughs> this is a terrible name for it. Escape. It doesn't. They want to call the comedy club the Escape. That means Bean Town is it Louis Bean Town? <laughs> yeah, the, that means the funny's uh, leaving the room. This Friday, Saturday, <laughs> they shouldn't use the word Escape. Dick's Comedy Escape in Crown Plaza Hotel in, in Worcester, Massachusetts. Yeah, eight hundred. That's where I'm from. Worcester, Shrewsbury, outside of Worcester. All right, it's eight hundred four zero one two 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 one. I'm not giving out the website. Mike, no, every remember. time you talk, do you want booing in the background so you feel comfortable <laughs> yeah, yeah. here? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, wow. You, know, you are you know what's awesome. Funny, you know what? You know what's put, your hood up, put your hood up, okay? You know what's funny about <laughs> that, that, that is that that booing, did, that booing did not up. make me feel comfortable. <laughs> it shouldn't no, make you feel comfortable. No, it didn't at all. I mean, <laughs> I felt terrible when they were booing. I was oh, you like, really? you know what I mean, Rich? You brought my, I don't know because it never happened. Uh, no, I don't know what you mean. But here's one thing I do know. You brought my name up. In that whole debacle, yeah. why did you bring up Rich Voss during because your booing? You need stage time. No, I don't. No, I don't, Mike. You're Mike. You're not in your league right now. This isn't M Bar or Luna Lounge. Okay, you're not on a stool with a notepad. This is the real All deal. Right, Shut up, you stink, and nobody cares about All you. Rich. All right, poor Com guy. Comedy for poor the guy. There's, Fifty-nine oh, years there's, old, there's, still doing comedy. You're, 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 you're right. Oh, you know, right. He's got you there, Rich. That's you know, so Steve. Oh, really? Because I'm still doing what I love to do. What people like to see. I'm what? sorry. I'm sorry, cracker. Uh, <laughs> Steve oh, from Bayshore sorry. is calling this the Jew versus the Boo. <laughs> this is uh, that is awful, Steve. The, Jew, the, Jews would the, the Jews would disclaim rich. They'd be like, yeah. not smart enough. Yeah, really. <laughs> Oh, oh, really? I'm not smart enough? I'm smart enough to know not how to get booed in front of 10,000 people, just, stupid. Just, let me, here, let me walk out. Here, 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 hold on. Let me walk out to the audience. Let me walk out to the audience. No, you listen. That's it? That's it? That's your comeback? Why don't you just go out no, and your glue? I'm on your radio every day, and sh I just wish people would come to my shows once in a while. Oh, really? You know, listen, Bobby, you know people are hey. going to start showing up one of these days, and we're going to get a big house. We're going to get a car. Dominium in, in West Palm, Florida. That's it. That's it. Is that now? Did your brother write that for you when he wasn't working on your website right. or trying to get people in? All right, you little right. publicist. Shut up. I'm a comic. You're a publicist. All right. There's a difference. The thing that you'll you'll never have in this business, what I have, is respect hey, from listen, our Rich, is respect hey, from Rich, our can peers. I, can I, call I you have for respect one second? from our peers. Rich, can I, right. can I have one moment? No. No. Jump off can of I, here. Hey, Rich, here's Rich, another Rich, thing, Mike. Rich, can I have one Do second? this with a guitar in your hand can so you'll one? get people to listen. Rich, <laughs> Rich, shut up, you boat act. Rich, can I have just up. one moment You're a of your boat time? Act. I, can I have one moment of your time, please? No. Please, sir. Right. Please, sir. All right, go ahead. Floor to Mike. Go, go ahead. ahead. Put Mike, a cumberbund yes. on, though, before you uh, say this. You boat act. <laughs> oh, can no, I have just a second? Down, can you I have... water down soft okay. humor. All right, boss. Okay, cracker. Can I have just a moment? <laughs> go ahead. I have nothing against you, either. Um, <laughs> you're, not I, a, you're not a bad kid. I just want to take a moment to plug my gig. I'm playing the Wilbur Theater in Boston. That's good. And, uh, That's good. It's you October, know what? Hey, October 11th. It's just me. 
Uh, possibly uh, some opening acts. Rich, if you're available, Mike, I'll totally be Mike, up. Right. Mike, listen, Rich. Lisa Lambinelli <laughs> sells out theaters. All right? Yes, dear, was on TV for seven years. That doesn't make you talented. <laughs> it makes the public stupid. Okay? You sell out a theater, hmm. big deal. Rich, you got is, booed intel in front is of, intelligence your angle? No, it's not my angle. <laughs> listen, I'm a comic, all right? I'm a comic, and I have succeeded for 25 years. You'll never ever reach the plateau that I've reached in this business. Oh, really? You'll never get the respect from other comics where like you, I have. Where are you Listen. from, ma'am? Oh, that's yeah, really? my that's first joke. Where are oh, you wait. from, oh, sir? Oh, that's really? my second yeah. joke. <laughs> okay. Oh, this oh, guy's, wait. This wait. guy's oh, yeah. an Indian. He's wait. getting Indian style spraying aerosol <laughs> cans in his mouth. Oh, really? That's, that's right. my third joke. Why don't you sing it? Why don't you sing it so we can laugh? <laughs> Buzz. Fuck, Mike, I wish Mike. I could make more jokes about you, but no one knows anything about you. Oh, really? <laughs> they don't? They don't I wish Mike. there were some identifying characteristics Maybe I'll get a other than van. your retarded voice. Maybe I'll get a van and put my name on the side to do improvs. Oh, okay. To do oh, improvs? Yeah. What, to are do you improvs. A, what are you, a 95-year-old grandmother so I can yeah. do improvs? Really? Switch? Really, Mike? I raised three kids. What do you have? What All do you right. have, Mike? I'm not gonna, I'm not you gonna, have nothing. I'm not going to go into your kids, Rich. This you is can't, a sad topic. Because my kids have never got booed before. <laughs> my kids have done better TV than you've done. Incidentally. Incidentally. Oh, oh. I'm doing What's letter wrong, again. Rich? Yeah. There's nothing wrong. What's wrong? There's nothing wrong. What's wrong, It's just man? that you're a fraud, Mike, and people fall for really? it. Really? Yeah. You, you want me to tell you oh, what a fraud wow. you are? What? How? Do you want me to bring up some real stuff? Do you want me to bring... Well, Do you I, want me to bring up some real fraud stuff, Mike? Is that what you want to hear? Uh, Fraudulent. Okay. Sure. And sure, sure. I'm trying to correct them at this point. <laughs> That's all right. Listen, a roll. Let's go. Here's Let's the go. thing. Now, it, it, it's too rough because uh, during the Mitch Hedberg tribute, which was very sad that Mitch died, a genius comic, okay, we're at the tribute in, in L.A., and they had a tribute for him, and Mitch's wife went up, and comics went up and spoke. Doug Stanhope hosted it. He was the MC, and he did a great job. Good friends with Mitch, I guess. Right. And and comics went up and spoke, and then the wife goes up, right? Mm -hmm. And that should be the end. But Mike feels that he should go up after the wife during the tribute. You know, don't let the wife close it out. Let Mike get his little ten minutes. So Mike goes up and does his tribute. I'm sure he was good friends with Mitch. Should have done it earlier. Goes up and does a tribute. Bing. Whatever. <laughs> Then in, and he doesn't cry, no tears. Then in New York, he does a tribute, but there's tears. So his tribute acting coach said, you have to cry when you're speaking at a tribute. Jesus. If you want to make it work, cry. Are you? No. Hey, Rich, are you serious, man? Yeah, I'm serious. Why would you go up? Yeah, why you would joke? you go up after the widow at a tribute? Why would you do that? They just asked because, me to speak. I, no, I actually, they asked you to speak before. They, no. they did. I, uh, I didn't want you know to what? speak. You know no. what's really hard about... When someone dies, is it, you really do have to speak, and it's like a, I remember having this conversation uh, it's, with the other it's people. It's not real. You're not real, Mike. You're just a fraud. You're a fraud in life, and you're a fraud as a comic. You figured out how to do it mathematically. There's nothing from the heart. Hey, Rich, it's where, all you, from your head. where are you from? Where am I from? Yeah. Good. Go back to that, Mike. You're where are you, a fraud. Where you, no, you I'm have just these people you. Where are you fooled. From? You have the business fooled. You're a fraud. You sat in the front of the bus, not the back of the bus. Hey, Rich, where are you from? I'm done with you. You're, you're in the fraud. You're in my front row. Where are oh, you that, from? That's it. That's where? it, Mike. Mike, I've done more black TV shows than you've probably done white TV shows. All right? You couldn't go up in front of a crowd that's not your crowd, and you've proven it. You proved it this summer. You prove it every... If it's not your little white crowd that wants soft comedy, you're in trouble. All right, there's no crowd I can't work. I can work your crowd. I can follow you in your crowd. All right, there's no crowd I can't work. There's one crowd you can work. Your crowd. Shut up, you stink. Awkward. I want to take it's him. It's not on. awkward. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not awkward. Wow. I was nice. To, I was nice to Mike at the at the virus store. I've been nice to Mike for for who knows how long. I said to him, I go, you can have a good set. They haven't seen. I try to give him positive, but there's nothing but negativity. He has nothing but anger and resentment towards me because for some reason I wasn't the kind of kid he hung that's out not with. That's true, man. I like no, you a lot. I like bullshit. you and your wife. No, don't. Whoa, don't no, you didn't. Person. You came in here attacking me. <laughs> I didn't attack you. You, you said about in, your wife? You came in here. You came in here. <laughs> you came in here attacking me like I was going to go after you. Mike, I don't care about you. I okay. really don't. All What's, right. What is this ten minute soliloquy about? No, because you're. You know what? And then, and then you try to like. No, because what pissed me off during when you're bombing, 
Hey, maybe I should be like Voss and work the crowd. I did not only work the crowd, I did material, and I did different material than I did last year to these people. Oh, okay. okay? I didn't realize that's what you took offense at, Rich. Well, I, I apologize. No, I, I took offense. I was, you know what? I shouldn't have made funny on stage because I was under pressure. I was getting booed by all these people. And I probably shouldn't have said that, so I apologize. Well, okay, listen, Mike, I've been nothing but nice to you. I know. All right? I know you have. So, Wait, so this, I all, didn't com hear that. this all comes from... Yeah, what was the nothing but I, nice part? <laughs> I was trying to figure out why there's real, like, kind of... Well, uh, yeah, I, I didn't know that. Here. He so what? When he was bombing, he made a, a stab at you? Yeah, that's, what, that's that. what he's yeah. saying. And, then, and, that, and that's yeah. why you're so pissed off today? Well, no, Rich? he came in attacking where I'm working. And he, you know, he's, he has a great career now. He really does. He's doing well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. No, good for you. You have a great career. I just, I but just, don't I you made, respect someone like I me? Just made you a, don't talk down to me. Okay? Because let me tell you something. I was doing comedy when you were probably in third grade. Yeah. All right? I, it, it, all right? So you'll never ever accomplish what I've you know accomplished what? I, in this business. Hey, Rich, I really apologize. I didn't know where We've this was coming from. We've been doing third-grade comedy. What's that? I'm, I apologize. I didn't know where this was coming from. Well, no, I just, I did nothing but nice to you, Mike. Hey, That's you, all. And I apologize. I'm not going I'm, I'm to... You didn't appreciate nice the shot he on. took at you at no, the Barber Show this, this summer. This whole, like, he thinks he could come into this, into my home, and start attacking me here? Wait, you this don't is your me. house? Kind of. It's semi my house. I, I sublet. Home. <laughs> I sublet. <laughs> but, Bonnie, you know, throw you out. You know, You're living in the like, studio. It's like me coming into Bob and Tom and attacking you. That's your main radio show. Somehow you slum in here. And if I went into Bob and Tom and attacked you, like, you don't come in here and attack me. I put eight years into this show. I've done things for this show that you'll never even come close to doing. Nice. Suck right? the comedy so, right out of it. Uh, that's, that's one of the things. Shut up, shut up hey. Benedict Arnold. You guys Benedict are Benedict Arnold? <laughs> Whatever his name is. If there's a right. T in the word, Rich. Right. You were doing so well. Benedict that, Arnold. It was pretty good. It was, was pretty good. Pretty that's what they and, called him, though, back and, then. You know what? Oh, Benedict and, Arnold. And, and, you know, we've been waiting for this. Talk, we have nothing but nice things to say about you. I know you, you too, man. That's I, why I don't know why you're yelling at me. We've been waiting for this Rich Voss to come out for eight years. don't Quite Here's impressed, Rich. I apologize, Good for you Rich. At the I'm not going to say. Now, you know when what? is this day at the theater? Because it might be open. It's uh, the Wilbur Theater in Boston. It's uh, <laughs> October 10th. Mm -hmm. All right. No, but I apologize, Rich. I'm not going to say anything uh, you can, you ill can, towards you or, no, or you even can, even joking like we were friends. No, no. I'm not going to joke we're like we're friends. We're acquaintance. If we were friends, you would have got an uh, invitation to my wedding. We're acquaintance. But here's the thing. You were going to pause for more laughter on that? Or no, you gonna I, continue? I, I was going to take a sip. <laughs> See, like that. That's funny. That's, there you go. That's good. That was a good little ad. That's funny. Are you going to fucking... Oh, sorry. <laughs> are you going to... Are you going to... I'm surprised. <laughs> That was actually the first one. No, he had one. Oh, he had one. Are you gonna, yeah, are you gonna one. edit every one of my my jokes about you? No, for the no, rest no, of the, no. Every time I'm on the show. No, because we know him because we've heard your CD. So those are the jokes we're gonna hear anyhow. Have you heard if, my CD? Thank no, you so much. No, it's no, available I, on iTunes. No, <laughs> no, I haven't heard your CD. I hate music acts. Uh, uh, Mike, I, we, I I really don't care. Listen to me. Good luck in your career. And I'm sorry if I came off a little strong, but that's how it is. All right, now shut up and go to Luna Lounge. I Luna, Lounge, Luna Lounge closed seven years ago. <laughs> it was three, I thought. I'll say I didn't know there was real, I honestly didn't know there was real attack. I, I didn't I was, know either. I didn't, I didn't know either. Moment. I was backstage. What's that? When Mike said that, about, like, apparently. Well, it's not that. It's just little things. He comes, you know what it is, like I said. And that was, you know, he probably, in, er, but he's during just, that moment, he probably, he, he went after Billy. He went after you, too. Okay. No, I didn't. Well, I, yeah, you No, did. I actually didn't. I, I said to get people to applaud, I said jim norton's name he knows that he would get a great reaction he would get a big applause and then norton's i left name. yes that's yeah, that's true no so I, just, yeah, so so like, okay, was, maybe, I was ending yeah. big maybe yeah. i maybe i misunderstood it but i thought it went like this you people are dumb who's here to see jim norton good night no no uh, no i go i go god i don't know what to say i don't know how to get you guys to apply hey hey you guys like jim norton Woo! Oh, all right. And that's then I kind of, that's yeah, exactly I what Mike was going okay. for. I didn't think that wrong. All right, so I'm and, sorry. And, I, no, I, and no offense to you, Rich. I was just eating it in like a way that, I, that I've that i never experienced. And mm. so I was just trying to make jokes about the show. A drowning and, man will grab at the blade of a sword. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Yes, well, yes. I think I think also <laughs> Mike comes in here and he's trying to be one of the guys there, Rich. But you don't, you're not allowing him to like. No, that's not true. That, when we were here last time, it was take Mike, shot stuff Mike, Nick, and, uh, Mike, Nick, and myself were the comics. And it was fun. We all had a good time. We had a great. No, but remember, listen, remember how this all started? Is earlier to this morning. You go, mean. Uh, it was a couple comics and Mike. <laughs> oh, that okay. was the first joke that tipped <laughs> off the whole thing. Was and it? then I said back the thing about your dumb gig, and then we continued. But, okay, here's the thing. I'm not. I, all I, the just, comics, I just remembered how stupid you are.
Uh, <laughs> I, I, I totally forgot. <laughs> no, like for a second, I'm like, wait a minute, Rich is really smart. And I'm like, no, 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 he's stupid, like I always thought. Uh, uh, <laughs> I know. I, I am stupid. I, But whatever. Oh, uh, Christ. He started, he that being said, let's have there. a piece. All right, let's hear, here's the thing. Let's, oh, uh, no, let's, here's the thing again. Let's... let's Use Let's, the word fraudulent a couple more times, Rich. Would you use the thesaurus.com this morning? One more you time. You're up? stuttering. There's no audience in front of you. Calm down. Mike, I don't care. Some people are saying Rich feels threatened, and I, that's why you're going off like this. No, you can't. I'm reading. I'm just commenting on no, 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 people commenting, I'm Jim. Saying, I, you got I, a problem with me now, Jim? <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> you know, well, you had a problem. I remember you were up on stage, and you said something... <laughs> <laughs> no problem here. Okay. I, I don't feel Love threatened you. at all. I want to thank, thank Anthony. I found out from some people that he threatened people after I walked off stage getting booed. He threatened to he shoot basically, people. Yeah. I did threaten to shoot uh, into the crowd. Yeah. One was, I don't know why. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know why. Hold on, your, on, Rich. Hold on. I don't know why that didn't become more of a thing because Anthony literally really? reached and we thought, holy crap, he does have a gun. That's what I heard. Like anyone yeah. would care if I killed yeah. like nine people in the audience. But that should have been a bigger thing because you were pretty serious. One was his manager. You're like, no, you're not going to make fun of me, mother effers. Yeah, yeah. I will shoot you. And then he reached and realized, oh, that's right. I'm not caring. Because they really don't give video. people a chance. I go to, you know, you go to certain Ron and Fez events, like every Ron and Fez event, and it, it, they go off without a hitch, and mm -hmm. the audience is pretty nice and everything like that. And we just have uh, what amounts to circus animals uh, that have been let out of the cages, sitting down and drinking and just instantly, if they don't like something, uh, the first second of it, it just gets booed. And that's why we can't yeah. do those anymore. Uh, it just, it just got crazy. Let me say one thing, if I could. I, I just, I don't think, I don't think, I think there's real tension between these guys. Which do I mean, you? I didn't know. It was just, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, I, I don't think it's. I don't, I don't feel like either one is threatened by that. I don't think Voss is threatened. No, hey, Voss listen. Has been here with no, no, I think it's before. purely no. sexual. Here's the thing. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not threatened by any comic. I, I text. I texted uh, Steve last night about another comic. Texas? What? I said I texted Steve oh, last night about another comic who was in town trying to get him in. Okay. Voss, I'm is, not Voss is here in the buzz. People are digging Mike on our show, and, and then he thinks it's going to take away from your uh, time. Are you yeah. out of your mind? <laughs> First of all, he lo looks like you. That's why you like him, okay? He's the same little white mold. Shut up. I don't feel at all threatened. We're two different comics. We're two different people. Yeah. I got eight years of history here. I know. It's Congratulations. And, uh, boss, I... Uh, that's only, I, that's I told, only uh, two weeks of radio time, though. <laughs> you're here like every really, other month. Really, come yeah. on, jump on me. Go ahead. Go, <laughs> you know, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. Look, really? Come on, loyal. <laughs> you loyal jackass. You, are, you <laughs> don't have a loyal bone in your body. You are the richest on a tear no, today. He's just a what creep. happened? He's a I creep. Didn't... You're a creep too. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Shut up. You're, yeah, yeah. And one was not invite me to your party. Okay. Oh, oh damn. This He is. Is right. Okay. Oh, you're hurt that he was. Damn I'm it. Standing up too. Okay. Let's go. Okay. And I'm a lot taller than you. Rich, oh, I apologize. I, I completely apologize. You should have been invited. Well, then, you should have. Uh, yeah, no, well, you're absolutely advice. right. Then who didn't invite me to your party? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Keith the cop will take full responsibility. Uh, I saw Keith downtown. He goes, oh, Ann's having a party in a week or two, and I, I rearranged my oh, schedule. Rich, and well, then that I should have been got... an invite right there. No, Keith he said, said Ann's having a party. Rich just, wants to, Rich oh. just wants to be loved. Rich just wants to be loved. Yeah, maybe just a oh. hug you know every so, now and then. You know what's you so know. sad about this is that Voss and I ostensibly get along great. Whenever I, yeah. we, I, my wife and I see him and his family, it's real nice. After I'm one nice. of the Comedy Central specials, we went out to dinner. It was real nice. And then he starts yelling at me miss. on the radio like he hates me. Oh, Rich, I'm sorry. No, I'm really sorry, Rich. Uh, really... the, no Jews, that's what it was. Yeah, they <laughs> didn't allow uh, it was it was a no Jews party. Yeah. 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 You, I went to City Hall a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah, congratulations. Hey. Oh, hey, congratulations. Wait, did you, you hit said a bonus you got married? at your wedding? You get bonus? I got married, yeah. He got married. He is just a What did he say? I didn't mention it. Did you get bonus? Did you get bonus at your wedding? But I didn't know you were married. Ah, uh, congratulations. <laughs> that is good. Uh, my wife. That's very nice. Perfect. Thanks, man. But uh, yeah, Voss is. Uh, I forgot about the Rich mentioned the other day Ugh. that uh, that he was bothered about Ant's party. I'm, I'm like, sorry, this, this Rich. Kind of open, I'm sure, like you were. Oh, you're, well, yeah, really. Maybe I'll just drive around Long Island and try to find his house. <laughs> All right, just, hey, you're invited to the party. I'm, I'm going to go hug Rich. Yes. Look, no, I don't want uh, to Opie, hug Rich. Let him hug Give Rich yeah. a hug, just a little hug. Ah, hug him. Um, 
<laughs> Voss is oh. so bad. Voss is so bad with physical. <laughs> Voss, Voss stiffens up like a little gargoyle. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I can't hug. Oh, I can't oh, hug. Look yeah, now. On. There's a mic for Bigly a hug <laughs> with this Voss. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> Rich can't handle any human contact. Any physical affection. This isn't a gay Aww. thing. It's just a little like, look, look at the look. Um, wait, let me get a picture. Hurry up already. Wait, let me get a picture of you awkwardly getting hugged by Mike. From, uh, look, at, look at how uncomfortable you are, Rich. Mike, a lot of people asking if you had to go to California or Massachusetts to get married. <laughs> I want to ask Rich, are those real fingers or are those prosthetic <laughs> teeny fingers? Like those doll uh, uh, it's done. It's been done. Uh, Why don't you like people touching you? Look at the, you've wrecked that from, microphone. Yeah, look how nervous he is. What did you do? It's hanging by a thread. Picture of me Mr. Yeah, hold on. I got to get a what picture. What is that, water damage? <laughs> hold on. Let me get a picture of Jimmy hugging uh, Rich. Look how awkward he is. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jimmy's trying to touch Rich's, like, waist and... Shoulder and Rich is just all because Rich is all man, he doesn't like anything like that, even no, goofing and, around. You, know man, you ever see him in a rest area? <laughs> Dude, yeah, no, it's all no, men. Go to my wedding. <laughs> no, it goes deeper than that. This is not an all man thing. No, because guys will like give a little hug here and there, and he just he doesn't mm. want any human contact whatsoever. Little hip push forward <laughs> when you're hugging a guy. That's what you got to do to really make a guy uncomfortable when you go in for the little uh, what is it called? A show. Yeah, shug yeah. hug. Yeah, yeah, shug hug. You I, you just push your hips forward real hard. <laughs> or you kind of just push your nose into his neck a little. And make a sound. Yeah. What would it sound like, Jim? Uh. <laughs> I just want, sorry, to, sorry to break up the love, love fest. I just want to plug one of Rich's gigs. He's at the Quiznos in Manhasset this, this Sunday night, 8 p.m. <laughs> Oh, God. I think is that okay, Rich? Is that a, that kind of joke okay? Oh, I didn't even know you. Oh, I didn't wow. know you were still here, Mike. <laughs> Listen, we gotta take a break. Oh my God! I think what we need to do is have a Rich Voss Appreciation Day. He, no, I, he doesn't I, feel I, the oh. love from his friends. No, it's not that. Listen. You, you, Anthony didn't invite. I, you to the party. I, I will, and I'm, Anthony I'm being completely honest here. I apologize sincerely. I really do apologize. It was a, a, a absolute oversight. There were 150 people. I don't know how you didn't get invited. I, I guess probably I'm the same sorry. way I wasn't invited to the video fest you guys had. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Oh, Jesus. I'll we were trying to introduce new comedians. Oh, That's Christ. all that was about. Oh. And, Rich, did I, I not Bob, invite Bobby you? and Patricia. Did I know. not invite you to my uh, my brand new pad to kind of rub it in to you how well I'm doing? Yeah, after, we, yeah. after, <laughs> after I drove you halfway home, yes. <laughs> this is good. The thing with you, Voss. And not only that, they gave me a secondhand toy for the kid. You're, you're, a rewrap. It what? was. It was supposed to be for East uh, Eastside Dave's kid. I'm like, yeah, I haven't seen him in a while. So here, you've got a nice, uh, nice Jimmy. Baby. Voss's thing is, you're you're kind of like you're so ingrained here. There's there's almost like everyone just assumes you're going to be there because nobody would think, well, don't and Voss. It, it, it's almost like any anything that happens with the show, you're you're a part of if you want to be. That's I think that's what the thinking yeah. is. So it's almost like it's so obvious to ask you to come that people assume it's been done. Well, who would, who wouldn't now. ask you to come to the animation fest? I mean, Anthony, he's caught up in his thing. You know, uh, with his, no. you pass out at 2, you wake up at 4, <laughs> and yeah. you forget things. <laughs> Anthony didn't even know he was having a booth. party. He was like, why no are all idea. these people here today? I love how I get, caught on. The, I get caught in the crossfire of your dumb non-invite to the animation <laughs> festival. <laughs> I said, I didn't, get in, I didn't get invited to the animation festival, but Biglia, you're a fraud. <laughs> you're a fraud. Yeah, you actually hate us. I did take it out on him. I'm sorry. You're right, Mike. And you, you ever stand stink. up again, I'm going to punch you in the face. I said I'm going to Oh, really? One of my Paul Bonds? Let me tell you something. <laughs> well, I'll linger longer on that one. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I, I can't take a joke, Opie. Uh, oh, what, my back what? hurt. My back hurt. That's why I stood up. I'm sorry that I stood up. Oh, I'll sit down. You took a very and aggressive stance. Sure yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, that, that was this aggressive. That's not physically aggressive. That's no. just more comfortable with the microphone that way as yeah. comics. Yeah. When I used to sitting and, and just, you know, basically right now I've lost like a caged animal in a corner. Yeah. When, when you feel that way, you just want to stand mm. up like you're, right. how you're comfortable. A with dodo them. bird. <laughs> Attention. Like codependent Attention. We have to take a break. We're okay. 15 minutes late for yeah. a break. That means we come back and only do about 10 more minutes with these guys. Opie and Anthony, stay there. <laughs> London Collins. It's Opie and Anthony. 
in the middle of an all-out brawl between Rich Voss and Mike Birbiglia. <laughs> On a positive note, can I I, I want to plug Bill Burr's CD. Yeah. <laughs> you do a great Bill Burr. He was just in here. Bill, uh, the Bill Burr imp- uh, impression's good, Mike. You know that uh, Bill Burr calls me a few years ago, and he, al- he always calls me when he needs advice about something. Like, he'll call me up and <laughs> about, like, anything technical. <laughs> he'll be like... What are one of the? Uh, how do you get one of these websites? You know what I mean, like really basic stuff. And then a few years ago, because I saw a CD, it's like number one on iTunes. It's like mm-hmm. doing, really, it's hilarious and everything. It's great. And uh, I remembered a few years ago, probably two years ago, I get a call from Bill Burr, and he goes, uh, he goes, Hey Mike, um, you're like a marketing genius. This is how people. Try and grease the wheels, like as though that's a compliment to a comedian. <laughs> oh, that's like being like, "Hey, I saw you set. Uh, yeah, you really tie your shoes well. That's nice." But uh, but he goes, "You're like a marketing genius." And I thought he was going to say something really technical. He goes, um, "He goes, I don't understand the CD thing. People order it on my website, then I'm going to the the post office buying stamps, sending <laughs> oh, out no. twenty, twenty five of these things." I'm like, hey, Bill, you're like a comedy star. You have an HBO special. You don't have to mail your own CD. Personally sending a, a note fool, with each one. What a fool Bill is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is it hard to get your CDs on iTunes? No. Mm. Do you have to go through a third party or you can pretty much do you it? You can do it yourself now. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Hey, Keith, That's the cop. handy. Keith, the cop, wants to defend Uh-oh. himself. Keith. Good, good morning. I, I had to get woken up for this, and I'm, I apologize that I'm 10 minutes late on the conversation. Yeah. But just so we understand, Mr. Voss, what? Uh, you were invited. But, I yeah. personally told you you were You invited. told me outside the comedy cellar. There you and, go. And this is what he, he listen, hold wanted on. an invite no, from this Anthony is what, personally. No, Keith, Keith, That's I'm not saying. All it, it, could have, it could have been an overlook. You said, uh, Anthony's having his party, I think, the 16th or whatever. Uh, I'll send you an email when I get all the all the logistics. That's exactly what you said. Those weren't the words. But you said when you get all the, you know, the information and it's confirmed, I'll send you an email, you know. Uh, so I, you know, I know where I'm going. Did you say that or not? I Detective. did, and then, and then three days before I saw you, and you said, "Oh, oh that's good. I got spots. I'll come. I'll come out to the house, yeah. and then I'll go." Oh, so yeah. hey, the, Keith, be it. careful. He's a little sensitive today. <laughs> <laughs> that was Mike. If you want to call him for marketing advice, we'll get his number. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so that was it. So three days before, you said you were coming out, that and then my you were going to do spots. Yeah. No, no, no. I saw you. It wasn't three days before. <laughs> Uh, when I saw you, you said you we're having a party. I said great because that that weekend I'm doing I'm doing city spots, and you said I'll get back to you and I'll email you. How was I gonna? Okay. Then I saw you again, and you said no. You didn't see me. That was the night in front of the cellar. You saw me. Oh. That was right. Rich, Rich I withdraw my apology to Rich Foss. No, by the way, up. I apologize for not inviting Rich, and yeah. I was sincere about it. But now I withdraw it because right. you were invited. Yeah. I was, but on more than one occasion. I was on more than one occasion. No, you Foss just wants up. to be thought of. No, Foss wants to be you loved. Guys, it's, Foss you know wants someone to throw him a surprise party, and all his no. friends are there. Foss no. to be appreciated. No, yeah, this Foss is like to be appreciated. This is like the company. Whose love are we replacing, mommies or daddies from the past? Both. Both. Okay. And just. There's a lot of pain from both sides, okay? Right, right. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for using me. Thanks. Yeah. I'm right. in the middle. Drop right. me off on the doorsteps. Uh, Buddy. But, no, Keith, nice. when I saw you, you said you're invited, but I'll, you said I'll get back to you with all the information. Did you say that? I did say that, and then did, when I saw you a couple of days after that, I told you again. You didn't see me after that. I, I saw you that night that. when we were in front of the cellar. You're a detective. Think. You're, are you a detective? Well, you're big. You're big now. You're he's big. up there. He's, he's up big. there. He's, he's the big. commissioner, actually. He's pretty big. Police. He's, like... he's pretty big. Well, anyhow, okay, it was miscommunication, but you didn't email me, and no, there's one way to prove it. Go to your emails and look at your scent, all right, and you won't see any to Rich Foss. By, by the way, for the record, I think I think Rich is a great comic and a great guy. Oh. Oh, oh, thank you. He's a great thank comic and Thank a great you for guy. validating my existence. Looks like you guys. <laughs> oh, what a, and, uh, You're no, no. Looks Rich, like you guys worked it out during the break, no, huh? Rich is. Um, <laughs> Rich can no, I because I've done a lot of gigs with Rich over. The, I've opened for him a lot over the mm-hmm. years, and he can he can turn the worst gig around. 
Yeah. And uh, he's available for those gigs if anyone's interested. <laughs> the uh, worst gigs. <laughs> t- you know what? All right, listen, we got to go. Uh, but, uh, the damn. Rich Voss uh, pity sure. party will be this weekend <laughs> in Worcester, Massachusetts <laughs> at uh, party. Dick's Beantown Comedy Escape at Crown Plaza Hotel. Now, Rich is very good at these comedy places, but why don't you just give it a little extra this weekend? Why? Just a little extra because, hey, you know, he needs a little love. No, yeah. I, I, listen. But, Let's hug again. But save up, <laughs> save up your money, save up your money, Worcester rights, because a few weeks later, uh, Mike Birbigli is coming to the Wilbur Theater. <laughs> or if you can't see him, go see Todd Barry. Here's the. <laughs> oh <laughs> damn, that's a good what, comic. What is that about? That's a really good. Are you comic. trying to say? I'm trying nothing. Leave water down, Mike alone. Bean Town, Bean Town, <laughs> Comedy oh, Escape. I thought you guys worked this out. What did you guys do in the hallway? <laughs> bite each other's faces. <laughs> Yeah, we're all. Uh, what am I supposed to do? I'm not. Uh, listen, I, we're all bummed. The, the whole I'm well, sorry, I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry too. Thing was uh, off air. You guys run out of the run out of the studio uh, and did your little makeup uh, session. Billy calls me never for a punchline. Uh, ooh, <laughs> he calls me about technical stuff. Wow. When will they call me about comedy? Hey, incidentally, I'm, I'm gonna while while there's a lot of dead space, I'm gonna plug something. I, uh, <laughs> how about you? How about your hairline? How about you accept? How about your hairline? How, how about you <laughs> plug your hairline, Tom Connor? <laughs> I. Uh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I'm a rich. What's that? <laughs> I have. <laughs> I gotta admit, I love this stuff. Uh, <laughs> I have a. Uh, I have a show. It's an all-new show, Rich, uh, called Sleepwalk with me this fall. Mm-hmm. I hope nice. you'll. I hope you'll come well, as sure my guest. Was. I'm sure that'll be great because your audiences are going to be halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. It's cold. Why, what are you going to perform at a narcoleptic convention? Oh, sleepwalk. Shut up. That's the audience. What are you going to do? Yeah, no, that was the that's the third time you said that. <laughs> I, I know. I just want to get the point across. Okay? Yeah, yeah. No, we got Shut it up. the first time. That's how that's that's half the language, language works. Where are you coming out with your Avis CD? I, I have a show. It's called Breakfast with Mike. We don't care. Shut up. You know the name of it. I didn't even know that he had a show called Breakfast with Mike. Did he? No, but that's probably... Oh, sounds like something. Well, anyway, Mike thanks, 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 <laughs> thanks, Rich, but... Uh... <laughs> what songs are you going to be singing at the There's theater? There's no songs. What's wrong it's with all, singing? All There's stories. nothing wrong with singing you if you go see go Brother the... Joe's band. <laughs> <laughs> okay? After, after every one of his jokes, you should just go, da-da, all right? There's nothing wrong with singing. <laughs> I, and I swear to you guys what? that these guys made up during the break. What happened? I, I, I'm not taking what shots happened? anymore. I know. I, you did when you said I could do any crappy gig. Yeah, but uh, I just said how great a comic you were, how nice well, the guy you are. Well, that was a passive, aggressive He gave you the compliment. And, and that's, all, and that's all you're and looking for. And then I said, a, light, then I said a lighthearted jab that you'd say right, at like a country are, club party. Me, right. These are lighthearted for me. I'm just saying. Sit down. I, I can't see him. I like to see who I'm talking to. All right, get All a right. stool. Okay, I'm doing this show, and I think that you'd like it, Rich. It's called Sleepwalk with me off Broadway this fall, October through January, and tickets are a telecharge. I would, I, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks. I couldn't think of anything worse. <laughs> no, when, where is it at now? Is it at the what theater? It's at the Bleecker Street Theater. It's a big... I thought you said it was on Broadway. Off Broadway. It's off, off Broadway. Broadway. Where in Bleaker North Street Theater? <laughs> yeah, Bleaker yeah. Street Theater is downtown. That's really off Broadway. It is. That's right. a, it's like well, it's, it's, well really, it's, it's a, a, it's like a t- it's a technical term they use for certain theaters in the city, and certain ones qualify and certain ones don't. And that this is this is a big deal for Mike. So can you it's show a little like uh, appreciation for Mike and what he's attempting to do with his one man show, Rich? I, I I'm looking forward <clears> to it. Maybe it'll turn into another failed pilot. <laughs> 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 no, Rich has had it with people not appreciating him. <laughs> no, uh, you Stop know what? Hug Rich. Mike's a good guy. Right. Sleep, Shut sleep, up! Folks. Sleepwalk, sleepwalk with Mike Babiglia. You're gonna beat each other up. Don't, don't no. stop. That's the oldest common thing in the book. I know. Like, no, but I like him. That, it's like that gives you license to like literally cut somebody's throat. Listen, <laughs> yeah. Listen, Google yeah, but, lies. Wow. Are you going to hurt my feelings? Well, what did Jimmy do? What did Jimmy do to you, Rich? Because we don't like the fact that you're on your phone and you pop in every now and then. I'm Be in the moment. I'm, I'm, first of all, I'm playing Scrabble. <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> playing Scrabble on his <laughs> iPhone. <laughs> What's that? It's, it's a, a new, new app. app. Yeah, I bought it. Scrabble. Yeah. yeah. Everybody has Scrabble. I'll be playing it when I go see Sleepwalk off Broadway. 
I, I, would, I, I would love to. I would love to play you in Scrabble. Are you kidding? You, you would not stand a chance. Get a Scrabble. Board. You and Scrabble. Get I, a I, Scrabble board immediately. No, I'm not today. No, today. I'm tired. No, I'll, I'll stop <laughs> with. The Is that the game with the Pop-O-Matic? <laughs> 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 If you had that game at your house, I wouldn't know. Rich, what do you need? <laughs> Rich, what do you need from your friend? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <Let's... laughs> oh, wow, that is funny. <laughs> what do you need from your friends, Rich? I, what do I need from my friends? Yeah, there's a problem here. Where do you want to start? You know, we didn't go to your wedding because oh, we thought it was just another gig. Okay, and I would explain that. I know Norton went. Yeah, but you didn't invite me. I, I would have flown. I had nothing else going on. I would have flown to your wedding. That's a fact. Yeah, that's right. That's a fact. I, I didn't get invited to a wedding either. That's that's true. Yeah, but you wanted us to show up yeah, at Caroline's, yeah. and I didn't know. That's I, where I, I met you. I the wedding thing. That was, uh, that was All right. You didn't get the invite to Anthony's party personally from Anthony. Got it twice oh. from Keith. What, what, I didn't get it twice. I got it once, and uh, it was... Uh, Rich, uh, what? All he's got to do is go to his email. All right, Rich, what, what do you need from your your your, your I, You friend? know what? I don't need anything from you guys, because you guys have been nothing but team players over the years. Oh. You know what I need? You said that I wasn't loyal. I. It was just out of anger, but you really are loyal. You really are. I took uh, one for the team so you can make out with the grandma. I know. you. <laughs> I, so I did that for you. I, know. I did that for you. <laughs> I, <laughs> I hurt my arm in the sand Shut trap. Up. Shut up. Sick Sit. every other week. I, no, I haven't you been guys sick in a while, and, and no. I, I decided I wasn't into that bra, So, but you yeah. decided that you were into the grandma. <laughs> Everyone is really calling Rich a whiny crybaby I don't ass. Know. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. I'm reading what everybody's saying here. Oh, I mean, just, listen, we're gonna have a rich boss appreciate I don't want for in your future. Listen, I don't care what these jackasses say because half of them are whatever. Just come to the show this weekend. Oh, that's oh. all I want. All right. Half of them are. Wait, I better not bash them because they come to the show. <laughs> I, what am I going to do? So, uh, you know what they're writing in. You're going to get whatever. I'm not whining at all. People Mike write. and I went at it. No big deal. People I've gone at it with Patrice, with Bobby. That's what happens. People Sometimes should, go, people go, should go to Vaz's show, though, because actually I, I'm from Worcester, and I guarantee you it's the best thing happening in that city that weekend. Is that a compliment? Yeah, it's an insult to the city, but it's like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Now, now they're saying Rich Voss is really busting apart those Jewish stereotypes with that whiny voice. That's whiny? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know what? If that's what they're going for now, they're running out of things. And don't call me today and ask about your appearance, please. Uh, I can't take those phone calls. She <laughs> 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 really outed him on that one up. <laughs> I wasn't too harsh today, right? It's all good. And you know, I was just making... Voss does panic. Oh, boy. The panic phone call for Voss. You know, when I said you were not loyal, I was just trying to, you know... I'm just trying to be a little outrageous. We're all right, right? You want to hit some golf balls? Yes. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Voss, I got to... Because we've all gotten that phone call from him. Oh. A little on. paranoia in Rich Boss, this is, a real, this is a real question. Uh -oh. What's that? Cosmetic question. Are those real teeth? No, they're cat. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna put implants in my mouth. That's gonna be in, like thirty grand, and Holy we're gonna do a whole cow. radio bit on it, where these are two bridges. Let's do that at a strip here, club for twenty bucks. Uh, <laughs> Get uh, implants in your mouth. <laughs> 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 well, that was funny yeah. play on words. I, uh, um, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, well, I know. I'm just saying it was Some good. Of, yeah, it works in comedy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. No, you're getting uh, bridges. Oh, like, okay. Yeah. I was just always curious, Permanent? and I thought since we're opening up, well, let's ask each other personal questions that we could that we've always wondered about each other. How about uh, Jim? <laughs> I know Where did you doing. grow up? I grew up in Central New Jersey. Oh, okay. That's uh, personal. Could, I don't know. I, uh, you could Google that. Ask him how many times he's had his face in a hole. Oh, that's hurtful. Hey, yeah, can, why, why me? <laughs> What's why wrong me? With you? A lot. He's working on that. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what do you do? You stop over at a rest area, there's a hole, you got to look through it. <laughs> why are you, like, you know, blowing out his candle to make yours what? What are you yeah, saying, why, Jimmy? Yeah. Why are you going to blow my candle out to make yours shine brighter? <laughs> <laughs> now you call it a candle? <laughs> 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 All right, listen, unfortunately, I'm it's that time. Unfortunately, what? we got to take it over where we can actually curse at each yes, other. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm sure this won't heat up and get unpleasant. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's yeah. up with that videotape? 
I could have brought everyone together today by showing the videotape. Rick. Yes, united in yeah. hatred of what it. you used to do. We did it earlier. <laughs> it'll be uh, bumped down and up by noon. By noon, yes, it'll be sir. up on onaradio.com? Yes, sir. All right, because people are looking for it right now. What else we got? We got the plugs. We got uh, Wash, Rich. I got his paper uh, here. All right. Rich will be this Friday, Saturday, Dick's Beanshound Comedy Escape, and it's in the Crown Plaza Hotel in Worcester, Massachusetts. Uh, 1-800-401-2221. And Mike has a gig coming up in Boston with October 10th? I think so, yeah, at the Wilbur Theater. Wilbur Theater. You can probably just go to Ticketmaster and get tickets for that. That's where Mike is from, so I'm sure that will sell out. Um, You're another Boston comic? Yeah, I'm from I Shrewsbury. That. Shrewsbury, Mass. Wow. I got a bunch of dates, too, that are up on my MySpace. I'm going back on the road. So When are you yeah. going back? I'm going back in two weeks. I start. Very small rooms again, and then... Come November, uh, big build up. Boss. Is that oh. Wilmer Rice room? Yeah, it's yeah, Wilmer Rice room. No. Oh, and actually, if people, I, my store, my show's all about sleepwalking. If people have a good sleepwalking story, email me through my website because I'm doing a documentary on sleepwalking. Oh, the show's not interaction. It's not like a Tony and Tina. Just like... shut up. Uh, we'll <laughs> finish up the rest of the plug. <laughs> so, if anyone has a good story, email me through Ber mikeberbiglia.com. All right, uh, let's all sniglets. I'll uh, thank Rich Voss for coming by. Rich, and I terrific I'm appearance on the Obi and Anthony show. Thank you. <laughs> Anything else we you want to get off your chest you. about us? What's that? Anything else you want to get off your chest about us? Yeah. Like a little viper just yeah. turning and biting all his friends. Yeah, really, man. What did we do to you? Jeez. <laughs> Wait, <hello. laughs> really? <laughs> hey, if you died, Rich, I would... Uh, I would cry at one of the events, but not at the other. <laughs> you wouldn't be invited. <laughs> what do you mean, if? How about when? This Friday and Saturday. And <laughs> the show quickly. <laughs>